Julie Gibson Clark is a 55 year old woman from Phoenix. She ranks number two at the Rejuvenation Olympics based on relative values and number one based on absolute values. Her speed of aging based on the average of three tests is 0.665 compared to Brian Johnson's 0.72. While Brian Johnson spends $2 million a year on his longevity, Julie spends only $108 per month, which is just under $1,300 a year. In this video, I'm going to look at what her low-cost health routine looks like. And I'll also talk about what these tests mean. So make sure you click a like and subscribe for future videos about living longer and staying healthier. After Brian Johnson created the leaderboard for people to test their speed of aging as measured by the Do Not Impace value, many people uploaded their results. Julie's score of 0.665 or the three test average means that theoretically she ages only 66.5% of the year. The lower the number, the lower your speed of aging theoretically is. The lowest score possible is 0.6, so 60% speed of aging. My lowest score has been 0.62 and my own three test average is 0.65, which would put me at rank number one in terms of absolute values. But the leaderboard hasn't been updated in almost a year. What do these tests mean? They're still relatively new and there's no evidence right now that would indicate that having a lower speed of aging as measured by this test would correlate to longer longevity. However, there are studies finding that a lower do not impace value correlates with a lower risk of all-cause mortality, which means that the lower your do not impace score, the lower your risk of dying from any cause. So how did Julie get such a good score that outbeats Brian Johnson? Well, she doesn't have any special biohacking routines. She makes less than six figures a year and spends only $108 per month on her health. $27 of that goes to a gym membership and $79 goes to a monthly supplement subscription of Novos, which is a company that provides a supplement powder designed to target all the hallmarks of aging. It's just a satchel that you mix with water and it tastes like orange vanilla. That's it, just a gym membership and a supplement that contains 14 ingredients. Some of the ingredients, such as calcium alpha-ketoglutarate, have been shown to affect biological age, but there's no long-term evidence regarding longevity or reduced risk of mortality as of now. I On the Ben Greenfield podcast, Julie did say that she takes some other supplements as well, such as magnesium, vitamin D3 and K2, fish oil, and B-complex. But these supplements, they don't cost that much. Of course, Julie also sleeps well and eats a balanced diet. I think she didn't account for the food cost to her monthly expenditure, and I think that Brian Johnson does account his food cost to his monthly routine. But regardless, Julie isn't eating like a fancy diet that's going to break the bank. Julie has said in interviews she eats about 16 ounces of vegetables per day. She snacks on carrots, radishes and peppers during the workday. The majority of the vegetables come from salads and soup. She also limits refined sugar and grains. She's not a vegan, but she does eat a vegetable-rich diet. Her main source of protein is usually chicken breast, cheese, or yogurt. And she tries to get 100 grams of protein per day, or one pound of protein per pound of lean body mass. Julie also does intermittent fasting, and she fasts for 16 hours every day, eating her first meal around 10 to 11 a.m. Here's what Julie's workout routine looks like. She does a mix of cardio and weights. Gym five days of the week, two days of upper body workouts with weights, two days of lower body with weights, and one day of strength training targeting her midsection. She also does about 20 to 30 minutes of cardio four times a week and goes for long walks often. Three times a week, she also goes to the sauna for 20 minutes before taking a cold shower. For sleep, she aims to get eight hours per night. She uses a mouth tape to prevent mouth breathing during the night and a weighted sleep mask to help with relaxation. Julie also meditates and prays in the morning. That's it, very simple and cheap. I think everyone can afford her routine. You technically don't even need a gym membership. You can work out in a park, you can do calisthenics, and you don't need the Novos supplement either. Although Julie did say that Novos did improve her results. Now, Julie might have some favorable longevity genetics. Her grandparents lived into their 80s and her mother is 85 right now. Living to your 80s is already 10 years longer than the average person lives. So if she keeps it consistent and maintains this health routine, then I would think that she will reach the age of 90 and potentially even 100. Overall, it's great to see that you don't need to spend a lot of money to see great results with your longevity. Some of the most effective things are actually free or they cost very little. If you want to learn about the key concepts related to slowing down your aging and adding healthy years to your life, then I have a free longevity video training. Check out the link in the description or head over to cnon.co forward slash longevity dash training. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click a like and subscribe for future videos about living longer and staying healthier. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.